Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Urban Pokemon. This trainer is not suitable. Chapter 21. At this time, Professor Lee also took out a Pokeball and released an Alakazam to block the flying debris and the spreading dragon energy. She gave Luo Weijin a rather resentful look. Didn't you say that your brother is a novice trainer, so novice that he doesn't even know what his own Pokemon skills are? What happened to this Dragon Pulse? Especially since this is the Dragon Pulse, a champion beast. Fortunately, there are no audiences now, otherwise, if there are audiences without any protection, it will make headlines tomorrow. Due to Dragon Elite's mistakes, a large number of spectators died tragically. Altaria, Dragon Claw, Luo Weijin still didn't realize that something was wrong at this time, she was going to launch her stormy onslaught without giving Luo Yuan time to react. Altaria began to move quickly, and under the blessing of the Dragon Dance, it was like a train. At this speed, it was very difficult to hit with the Dragon Pulse again. This is reality, not a game. Except for skills like Aura Sphere, no skill is really 100% hit. If you want skills to hit, you need to create timing. For example, Luo Yuan asked Latias to use Dragon Pulse before. If Altaria did not use Dragon Dance at that time, he would have been hit on half of his body. Under normal circumstances, it would be very difficult for this kind of straightforward move to hit Altaria, who is also a champion and has rich combat experience. Altaria's speed is very fast, but the real Pokémon does not have absolute species strength, and even each individual Pokémon is different. Everything lies in the breeder of the trainer, the powerful Pokémon has nothing to do with races, it is not so difficult to break through the numerical limit of one's own race, it is like feeding the Pokémon with value-increasing medicine in the game. Those so-called rare Pokémon or powerful Pokémon are only as powerful as both players at the same level of ability. But if one side's trainer is stronger and more bonded to his own Pokémon, then it is not incomprehensible for Beedrill to defeat Dragonite. There are even many powerful trainers whose breeder's strongest Pokémon are common. Because of the bond between trainer and Pokémon, miracles can be created. Altaria is indeed the main force of the Dragon Elite, its speed is beyond imagination, and it is close to Latias in an instant. Altaria's Dragon Claw gathered powerful dragon energy, turned into a huge claw, and grabbed Latias in the air. Seeing that Latias did not hide at all, Luo Weijin felt a little uneasy. Even if Luo Yuan as a trainer can't react, Latias should instinctively avoid it, right? In the next moment, Luo Weijin knew where her anxiety came from. Altaria's Dragon Claw cracked, Latias, but Latias disappeared like a phantom. Immediately, the disappearing Latias turned into countless feathers with psychic fluctuations on the feathers, and Luo Yuan's order came at this time. Quote dot dot dot, Mist Ball, Mist Ball, what skill is this? Luo Weijin looked puzzled. Due to the rarity of Latias as a mythical beast, little is known about her unique abilities. But right after, Luo Weijin saw the power of Mist Ball. Countless feathers exploded, causing Altaria to groan in pain, and the terrifying psychic fluctuations exploded on Altaria's body. Then the feathers of Latias entangled Altaria's feathers like tarsal maggots. Although Luo Weijin didn't know the function of those feathers, she also knew that the feathers definitely had special abilities. And Latias' real body appeared in the sky at this moment. Confusion. As a massive psychic weighed down, Altaria fell from the sky as if hit by a train. Its body was pressed against the ground, and the sky drop and acceleration caused the ground to be smashed into a deep pit, and even the landmarks were cracked. Luo Yuan found that when he and Latias connected with each other and bonded together, the orders he gave were extremely smooth. Even when he uttered the first word, Latias understood him and used the skill. This made Luo Yuan understand what the bond between trainer and Pokemon is. He had doubts before, this is not a turn-based game, the trainer shouted out the skill name for so long, it is easy to let the opportunity slip away. And after realizing the power connected with Pokemon, he understood the tacit understanding between the powerful trainer and Pokemon. Just one word is enough for Pokemon to understand your tactical intentions. What kind of skill is that? Double team, or substitute? No, if it's double team or substitute, it shouldn't be able to attack. At this time, even Luo Weijin couldn't help asking. She really didn't understand how Luo Yuan made that false phantom, and then allowed the phantom to attack. 
Even Professor Li pricked up his ears, wanting to hear Luo Yuan's explanation. The combo just now seemed simple, but no matter whether it was a top breeder or a dragon elite, they couldn't see the principle. It's actually very simple. Latias feathers have the ability to refract light and transform. This is the characteristic of her feathers, and it's not even a skill. And Latias also has an ability called Mist Ball, which belongs only to her. The Mist Ball works by launching its own feathers as a weapon to create a striking effect. So just now I let Latias shed his feathers, let those feathers appear in the form of Mist Ball, and then refracted the light to create a false illusion. Sister, when your Altaria gets close and attacks, those transmogrified feathers will turn into mist balls to fight back. Since Latias's feathers can refract light, she can also be invisible, so she uses invisibility to deceive your vision and make you make a wrong choice. Actually, this tactic is quite complicated, but I didn't expect that it was just a thought, and Latias understood what I meant. This is what my sister said, the bond between trainer and Pokemon. Luo Yuan's tone was a little excited and emotional. Being a trainer is so cool, the feeling of connecting with Pokemon is so comfortable. Laddie, as if responding to Luo Yuan, Ladius raised her wings and let out a crisp and joyful growl. Luo Weijin was speechless for a while, and she couldn't help asking. Do you really have no combat experience? Professor Lee nodded secretly when he heard it. This kind of tactical show operation can only be done by a master trainer. If it was just a Pokemon, Luo Yuan and Latias must be enough to call themselves champion trainers and Pokemon. Maybe I was the head of the dragon department in my previous life, so I am quite handy with the dragon Latias. Luo Yuan joked, Hey, your sister and I were dragon elite just now, you're the master of the ass. Luo Weijin spat secretly, but Luo Weijin had to admit that if it was just a one-on-one -on -one fight, she seemed, couldn't beat Luo Yuan, the rookie trainer. Dragon Elite lost to Rookie Trainer with the main force, which will definitely make the headlines of newspapers all over the world tomorrow. Luo Weijin suddenly felt that she lived on Growlithe in the past. Sister, shall we continue? At this time, Luo Yuan looked at the playing field that had already had a big hole, and the broken spectator chairs flying around. He asked after swallowing, Pokemon battles are indeed too dangerous, what if you accidentally touch flowers and plants? Don't fight. Let's just leave it at that, I just wanted you to feel the atmosphere of the battle. There's no protection on the field right now, so if you accidentally hurt Professor Lee, it's fine. And I haven't tried this kind of high school style duel for a long time, and I'm not used to it. You can cooperate with Latias so tacitly, and you can use Latias' ability to use such tactics. As a rookie trainer, you are already qualified. It's more than qualified, just based on the tactics just now. The perfect use of Pokemon's own characteristics and skills, this is already a master level performance. Luo Weijin quickly found a useful excuse to stop the battle. She pretended that she was only teaching Luo Yuan the basic knowledge of combat, and now she had completed the task calmly, to hide her guilty conscience. If the fight continues, she, a dragon elite, will lose, well, then it will be really embarrassing and embarrassing. It was also Luo Weijin who was too careless, thinking that Luo Yuan was really a pure rookie, the kind of rookie who didn't even know what Pokemon skills were. Therefore, there was a problem with her tactical design from the very beginning, so that she lost the initiative, and no one came up with the Dragon Dance to start the game. Under the command of Luo Yuan and the powerful strength of Latias, she has been retreating steadily since then, almost without the ability to fight back. This is the case in a championship-level game. A slight mistake is caught by rival, and then you may face a storm of onslaught, without giving you a chance to breathe. If Luo Weijin had known that Luo Yuan had this strength from the very beginning, Luo Weijin would never have been so unprepared, but had dealt with it as a championship-level match. At the very least, even if you lose, it won't be so ugly. So while there is an excuse to end it quickly, then her Dragon Elite did not lose to a rookie trainer, it can only be regarded as a tie. Well, it seems embarrassing enough to draw with a rookie trainer. Luo Weijin looked at Luo Yuan with a depressed face. Is her younger brother pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger? But it's not like, he did not have contact with any Pokemon in the past, and the only close contact with Latias was only yesterday. Did it take him only one day to master the use of Latias and use it in battle? 
If this is the case, Luo Weijin can only say that Luo Yuan is definitely that kind of trainer with rare talent. Luo Weijin quickly took out the Pokeball and took back Altaria, who was a little dazed by the beating. Beautiful cooperation just now, Latias. Luo Yuan smiled at Latias and praised him. Laddie. Latias' beautiful big eyes narrowed into crescent moons, and he circled around Luo Yuan. After rubbing Luo Yuan's cheek with his small head, he returned to the Pokeball on his own initiative. Riolu, who was just conquered by Luo Yuan, was also in the Pokeball and saw the battle throughout. So, so strong. Whether it is Latias' sister or the master, they are too strong. I must also work hard to become as strong as Sister Latias. I can meet such a trainer, and such a powerful trainer will choose my own, trash, Pokemon, I must not embarrass the master. If five times of effort is not enough, then use ten times of effort, and one day, I will gallop on the battlefield with my master to defeat all powerful enemies. Riolu just feels his blood boil, he is a very hardworking and motivated Pokemon. It's just that the reason of the body makes it always get twice the result with half the effort. But at this moment, after seeing the cooperation and strength of the true champion trainer and Pokemon, Riolu raised hope again. It needs to make more efforts to respond to its own trainer. What a great game, especially your use of Latias, Boy Luo, is amazing. It turns out that Latias's feathers have such an ability. Although it is recorded in ancient books that Latias's feathers can refract light, I didn't expect that she could actually create a fake version of herself. Not only your sister, but even the old lady, I was deceived by my own eyes, thinking that the Latias just now was real. Seeing Luo Weijin and Luo Yuan left the arena and came to the auditorium, Professor Li sighed. Luo Weijin was a little embarrassed when she heard Professor Li's sigh. The match just now wasn't exciting at all, well, she, a dragon elite, was calculated and beaten from the beginning to the end. But except for himself, just looking at Luo Yuan's battle, it can indeed be described as wonderful. Boy Luo, I have a merciless request. At this moment, Professor Li looked at Luo Yuan with bright eyes, and the old lady said with some excitement. Grandma Li, what can you say to be unfeeling? If you have anything to say, just say it. Luo Yuan said quickly, whether it's respecting the old and caring for the young, or Professor Li's status as one of the top domestic breeders, Luo Yuan respects her very much. I'm a breeder, researching the ecology and living habits of Pokemon is my job and my hobby. I have been working in this industry for almost 40 years. I have come into contact with many Pokemon, even some rare Pokemon, and studied their living habits. However, I have never had the opportunity to study a beast like Latias. Since the modernization of the world, no one has ever heard of a Latias. So I hope you, Boy Luo, can observe Latias' living habits in your daily life and record them. Or when you have time, you can also bring her to play with me. Professor Lee said with some embarrassment. But as a breeder, how can she not be tempted when she sees this Pokemon, which may be the only animal-level Pokemon in the world that is owned by trainer and has the opportunity to observe it in person? Even at her age, she had no choice but to make this request with the cheek. When Luo Yuan heard that he was just asking himself to record Latias' daily habits and habits, he directly agreed to such a trivial matter. However, Luo Yuan still hesitated for a moment before saying, It's just that although I was asked to record Latias' habits, I don't know what to record. Luo Yuan is not a professional breeder, so he doesn't know some of the research that breeders do on Pokemon. When Professor Li heard Luo Yuan agree, she said happily, that's easy to say, I have a list of tables that I compiled for beginners. When the time comes, you just fill out the form. After speaking, Professor Li couldn't wait to send Luo Yuan a list on his mobile phone. Luo Yuan turned on the phone and looked at the form, he felt a little regretful. Nima, why should I agree to this request? The records here are too detailed. For example, how often Latias needs to rest, and how long each time he sleeps, Luo Yuan needs to record. There is even how Latias rests, whether she is lying on the ground, floating in the air, or hanging on a tree, whether she is used to turning over and sleeping on the left or right, all need to be observed. Although the difficulty is not high, it does require people to be very careful and meticulous. This made Luo Yuan feel that the work of a breeder is also very exhausting. Sure enough, 
there is no such thing as an easy job that allows you to succeed, and it requires a lot of hard work. Seeing Luo Yuan's gritted expression, Professor Li also understood the troubles of these things, she said with a smile. I can't let boy Luo work for you. I happen to have something for you that you can use. Luo Yuan subconsciously wanted to learn how to celebrate the new year and waved his hands in front of the elders' red envelopes and said, no, but he still held back and complied. Ahem, this is a job for me, and I should be paid. The three of Luo Yuan left the arena and prepared to return to the previous work building. On the way back, Luo Yuan looked at the playing field with a big hole, and whispered to Luo Weijin, dot old lady, what about the playing field? Could it be that I want to lose money? You shouldn't pay for this, old lady. Luo Weijin took a look and said, it's okay, it's common for the competition venue to be destroyed. At that time, let some Pokemon of the ground, rock, and fighting types use skills, and it will be repaired soon. Luo Yuan was speechless for a while, it turned out that Pokemon can still be used in this way. Back in the work building, Luo Yuan found that the building became very lively. Many boys, Stephanie, who are a few years younger than themselves, are accompanied by their parents to pick Pokemon here. They looked like they had just graduated from high school, and their faces were filled with excited smiles and longing for the future, and they were very chattering. Luo Weijin had already put on a mask and sunglasses at this time, and it looked like she was traveling with an entertainment celebrity, looking sneaky. I'll go to Professor Lee first, will you go with me, or wait for me here? After returning to the work building, Professor Lee went to get the present for Luo Yuan. Luo Weijin was afraid that her identity would be found out, and it would be troublesome to make it like a fan meeting, so she asked very quickly. Luo Yuan looked at the noisy environment in the lobby. Parents with their children were picking Pokemon in front of computers like buying a house. He thought this scene was quite interesting, so he said to Luo Weijin, Sister, go by yourself, I'll stay here for a while. Luo Weijin didn't say much, Luo Yuan was no longer a child, and it was impossible for him to get lost here. As for the danger, she felt that unless it was a special case, there would still be some danger when Luo Yuan was using Latias with the almost champion-like strength. She just nodded, showed her ID to the shock of a staff member, and went directly to the office area. Luo Yuan came to a computer with great interest. He wanted to see what Pokemon that Normal's rookie trainer could choose. Looking at the various Pokemon files on the computer, which are like picking a car number, Luo Yuan found that the Pokemon prepared by this breeding center for rookie trainer are mostly the first generation and second generation Pokemon. These Pokemon are the Kanto and Chengdu region in the game. Of course there are Pokemon in other regions, but the ratio is relatively lower. And among these Pokemon, Luo Yuan also found a rare Pokemon like Yusanjia. Although the cost of this type of Pokemon breeder will be higher, and you may pay more money or borrow more money if you choose them, there are still many rookie trainers who want to choose Yusanjia. But the number of Yusanjia is too small after all. In this case, the only way to bring those trainers to Pokemon is to let Pokemon choose their own trainer. Dad, I don't like Houndour. How can you not like it? How strong and secure it looks. But it looks so fierce after it evolved. I don't think it's good looking, I want a beautiful one. I want to choose this Badu, it looks so cute. Quote dot 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 quote. Beside Luo Yuan, a Stephanie's son-in-law was arguing with his father about which Pokemon to choose. Luo Yuan looked sideways and saw a rather pretty Stephanie with a ponytail pouting her lips, arguing with her father. What's the use of being cute? Strength is the most important thing. Trainer is so dangerous. The first thing you need to think about is how to protect yourself. If you are stubborn with me, then don't be a trainer. The father may have seen his daughter talking to himself, which made him a little angry. Stephanie gritted her teeth and stood there, about to cry. Luo Yuan didn't intend to get involved in other people's housework, but seeing the stubbornness of the father and daughter, he felt that if he didn't say something, there might be one less trainer in the world. He interjected in a timely manner. Pokemon's strength does not lie in its appearance. Every Pokemon will have great strength as long as the breeder is well. However, sometimes the choice of Pokemon depends on the trainer's own hobbies, just like some trainers may very much like the fire element, but not the water element. Well, it's like my elder sister doesn't like fairy style. 
If the trainer is forced to choose the type of Pokemon he doesn't like, it may be counterproductive, making him unable to bond with his own Pokemon and will instead lose the possibility of becoming a trainer. The father and daughter were a little taken aback by Luo Yuan's sudden words, and they all turned their heads to look. Luo Yuan smiled apologetically, took out his Poke Ball, weighed it, and said to Stephanie's father, Sorry, as a trainer, I'm just correcting some of your mistakes. The status of a trainer is very high, especially for a senior trainer like Luo Yuan, everyone in normal is very convinced. The reason why Luo Yuan took out the Poke Ball was to avoid trouble, such as the father thinking that he was meddling. Sure enough, when Luo Yuan said that he was a trainer, and seeing that he was older than the newly grown children present, the father's expression softened, and his heart was already shaken. Immediately, Luo Yuan said to the ponytailed Stephanie again, I just hope you don't like Houndour, it's just that it doesn't fit your aesthetics, not that you really hate it. Of course, since you can pass the trainer assessment, at least it proves that you don't have any ill feeling or antipathy towards Pokemon. Well, I'm sorry, I may have said too much. If someone is looking for me over there, just think it's me talking too much. At this time, Luo Yuan saw his sister wearing sunglasses and a mask, waving to him with Professor Lee, so he just apologized and walked there. Stephanie's father saw Luo Weijin and Professor Lee waving in the distance. He didn't recognize Luo Weijin because he was dressed tightly, but he knew Professor Lee. That's Professor Lee from this breeding center, she is one of the top breeders in our country. Stephanie's father let out a low cry, and seeing Luo Yuan walking over and familiar with Professor Lee, he was also a powerful trainer. As for what Luo Yuan said before, he immediately believed it completely. This is the power of authority. Since that trainer said so, then choose according to your favorite. He finally let go. Stephanie, who was wearing a ponytail, immediately beamed with joy. She looked at the distant Luo Yuan with longing eyes, and she also wanted to become such a powerful trainer. Why, go to lie to the little girl while my sister is not around? Luo Weijin looked at Luo Yuan who was approaching, and laughed teasingly. Stop laughing at me, ma'am. I just saw that family arguing over which Pokemon to choose, and went over and said a few words of justice. Luo Yuan gave his sister a white look. At this moment, Professor Li handed over a wooden box and said, This is what I gave you, boy Luo, please accept it. Thank you Grandma Li. Luo Yuan smiled and thanked, took the wooden box and eagerly opened it, and saw a small bell inside. Soothe bell, Luo Weijin said in surprise. Soothe bell. Luo Yuan's heart skipped a beat when he heard his elder sister's name. He knows this thing, it has been in the game in the past, it is said that as long as the Pokemon wears the Soothe Bell, the intimacy between the trainer and the Pokemon will increase faster. It's just that I didn't expect this thing to exist in reality. Miss Luo is a person who knows the goods, and this is Soothe Bell. Riolu's evolution has had different opinions for a long time, and no one can specifically determine what the evolution conditions of Riolu are. There are many Riolus of trainers who evolved under inexplicable circumstances. It wasn't until the concept of bond was proved to exist, but it couldn't be measured by scientific instruments, that the way of Riolu's evolution was settled, and it was confirmed that Riolu evolved because of intimacy. The same is true for Soothe Bell. In the experiments of many scientific researchers, in the comparison of many samples, it is confirmed that Soothe Bell can increase the intimacy between trainer and Pokemon faster. This thing is not too rare, but because Soothe Bell is not a one-time item and can be reused, it is rare on the market. Since Boy Luo chose Riolu as his Pokemon, I think this Soothe Bell will help you. Professor Lee was afraid that Luo Yuan would not know the role of Soothe Bell, so he explained it to him with a smile. It may be that the professor always likes to teach others. She not only explained the role of Soothe Bell, but also explained the research history of intimacy in reality. Then I won't be polite, Grandma Li. Luo Yuan didn't evade any further excuses, and directly put Soothe Bell away. Why are you being polite to me, let you help me record Latias' living habits, this is also the reward I deserve, and I still earned it. Many Pokemon researchers and breeders in the world want to study Latias, a mythical beast, but they have no way to go. They can only find information from ancient books. Although Pokemon such as Dratini and Gibble are rare, 
they can be seen after all, and there are also many trainers who have them. Latius is probably the only one in this world. Professor Lee smiled, waved his hand and said. Luo Weijin also thanked Professor Lee, and then said, Then don't disturb Professor Lee's work, we will leave first. Professor Lee nodded. Go ahead, boy Luo, don't forget to observe Latius more. Don't worry, when the time comes, I will send you a report in your mailbox every week. Luo Yuan patted his chest and promised. Luo Yuan and her sister came out today to register for the trainer and receive the Earl Dervish Pokemon. Now that everything is done, they naturally don't plan to stay here any longer, so as not to disturb other people's work. Where Luo Yuan didn't pay attention, Professor Li grabbed Luo Weijin and asked in a low voice. The battle just now was recorded by the camera. Miss Luo, what are you going to do? Do you want to save the battle video and send it to Alliance, or let me delete it for you? Luo Weijin also whispered, quote dot dot dot, you can send that video to the Alliance chief executives. After all, Xiao Yuan is my younger brother. If I send the video, they may think that I deliberately exaggerated his ability. But you are different, you are the top breeder in our country, a tenured professor of Tsinghua University, and those general ministers respect you. If you send the video, they will pay more attention to it. Professor Li laughed and said, You girl really knows how to take advantage, you just know how to flatter me, you hope the Alliance can pay more attention to Boi Luo so that they have more resources to tilt. You sister, you have really considered every detail for my brother, and you are not afraid of being laughed at in the future as a helping brother devil. Professor Lee is also an old man who likes to get to know young people online, she joked. Don't worry, I will help you send the video in my own name. I also like that kid. The future of this kid is definitely limitless. Those directors are not at the age of old eyesight. Seeing such an outstanding young man appearing in the country, they will definitely cultivate them vigorously. Of course Luo Weijin knew that Yoshi, the director of the Alliance, was clean, but she wanted to avoid suspicion after all, so this matter could only be entrusted to Professor Lee. Thank you, Professor Lee. I will visit your house another day to thank you. Luo Weijin smiled brightly and said heartily. Forget it, you still have time to urge your brother to pay more attention to Latias. Luo Weijin felt emotional when she heard the words, Professor Lee is worthy of being a top breeder, and he really pays attention to the living habits of Pokemon and is not interested in other things. After saying goodbye to Professor Lee, the siblings came to the parking lot of the breeding center. After today's work is done, the two are ready to go home. Sitting in the car, Luo Yuan had just fastened his seatbelt when Luo Weijin handed him a small box. What? Luo Yuan subconsciously took it, opened the box and saw that there were three brown crystal-like objects inside. The crystal is not big, about the size of his own knuckles, and Luo Yuan was particularly surprised that he could see the LV.3 logo on this crystal. This strange crystal has grades. This is fighting crystal. There are five grades of crystal. After each rookie trainer receives his own Earl Dervish Pokemon, the Alliance will personally send a crystal corresponding to the attribute. It can be regarded as a welfare policy. However, normal rookie trainer can only get a level 1 pure crystal, but I directly ordered a level 3 one for you. Luo Weijin started the car and said. When Luo Yuan heard it, good guy, you've been plucking wool again, old lady, haven't you? What is pure crystal? Luo Yuan picked up a pure crystal, examined it carefully and asked. How did you learn in the past? Forget it, let me tell you the basics again. Pure crystals are one of the most important resources for Pokemon training. Energy cubes provide the nutrition and physical strength needed for Pokemon's growth, while pure crystals can provide Pokemon with the energy of various attributes. Otherwise, how do you think Pokemon's powerful skills are used? Although Pokemon can inherit skills, they are not born with it. This also requires Pokemon to learn, and pure crystals are the necessary materials for learning skills. Similarly, if Pokemon wants to learn their own non-genetic skills, it will require very hard training and specific attribute crystals. Usually, when Pokemon exercises skills and improves the proficiency of their skills, they also need pure crystals as consumption, so that they can completely remember how to use these skills and their proficiency. Pure crystal is an essential material for every trainer. Even my Pokemon needs pure crystal as support when it is exercising. 
Luo Weijin's explanation made Luo Yuan suddenly realize that this pure crystal looks a bit like the learning machine in the game. It's just that after the learning machine is used in the game, Pokemon will learn directly. In reality, not only do you need enough resources, that is, pure crystals to be consumed as practice, but you also need Pokemon's own hard work. This made Luo Yuan's scalp tingle, the trainer in reality is really not that simple. In reality, you have to provide high-quality energy cubes to provide nutrition for Pokemon, and to make Pokemon stronger, you also need to provide enough pure crystals, maybe even high-quality pure crystals. Then you have to spend a lot of time training Pokemon, which not only requires a lot of money, but also requires a lot of energy from the trainer. No wonder trainer is so respected, this profession is really not easy. The existence of fetters restricts the growth of Pokemon, and spending energy on training and purchasing enough supplies to meet the needs of Pokemon also requires a huge effort. The reality is really different from the game. In the game, you can upgrade by brushing monsters, but the upgrade in reality requires the trainer to be perfect in all aspects. But what about your own Latias? I didn't train her, and I didn't even find a pure crystal for Latias. But Latias just learned all the skills and became a champion. Latias told herself at the time that she was not so strong at first, but became so powerful after eating the delicacies she had made for so many years. Could it be that the food I made has more effects? Luo Yuan decided to go back and start experimenting to explore more abilities of his, gold finger. While Luo Yuan was thinking, Luo Weijin continued to introduce him to the, common sense, about Pokemon. Little brother, remember, you should never carry too many pure crystals on your body. A small amount of these pure crystals is fine, but if you carry too much, it will affect the human body, like radiation. Similarly, don't carry too many mixed pure crystals of various attributes on your body. If you have to carry it like this, then carry as little pure crystals of each attribute as possible. Among the trainers, about 80% to 90% of the trainers will only specialize in one attribute. The main reason is pure crystal. The energy in the pure crystal will not necessarily be used up by one Pokemon, but can also be used by other Pokemon. Therefore, if your Pokemon is an attribute, it can be shared. This will greatly reduce fiscal expenditures. Secondly, if you take Pokemon with multiple attributes to exercise, because of the influence of pure crystal attributes on the human body, you will bring less of each pure crystal, so the exercise effect is very poor. Unless you use high-quality pure crystals instead of low-quality ones, and exchange quality for quantity, but pure crystals above grade 4 are rare, and the price required is even higher. Just like me, if you want to train a champion-level Pokemon, you need level 5 pure crystals. The monthly consumption is 1 to 2 yuan, and you need 12 to 24 yuan in a year. The price of each level 5 pure crystal ranges from several million yuan, and the dragon type is more expensive, almost 10 million yuan. Look at how much I spend on Pokemon's breeder every year. Luo Yuan gasped when he heard his sister's words. Nima, it turns out that being a trainer is so expensive. At the same time, he also understood that there will be so many trainers with a single attribute in the game, which can be said to be a setting. But in reality, there are still so many trainers with a single attribute. The main reason is the difficulty of training and the cost of money. So many trainers are used to a single attribute, and gradually become a style in the trainer. Luo Weijin then continued, quote dot dot dot. Of course, not all trainers choose a single attribute breeder for this reason, and some like me just choose a single attribute because they like a certain attribute. Luo Yuan blurted out, so you chose the flying department. Luo Weijin braked and looked at Luo Yuan coldly. Luo Yuan fell forward, he was startled, and quickly apologized. Old sister, pay attention to driving safety, or your relatives will cry. Luo Weijin looked away. Then how did you get this pure crystal, and how do you judge its grade? My elder sister is an elite four, she is a rich person, and it is reasonable to be able to afford such an expensive fee. But what about the other trainers? Even if they don't need level 5 pure crystals like my elder sister, where do they get their resources and money? There are fixed secret realms all over the world, as well as secret realms that will appear suddenly, where trainers get resources. There are a large number of wild Pokémon in each secret realm. In addition to their own ecology, these wild Pokémon will also gather with a certain attribute. 
and the energy attribute of each secret realm is different. Pure crystals will be found in secret realms. Almost all trainers get pure crystals in secret realms. It's best if you can get the pure crystals you need for the attribute, even if you don't, you can exchange them with other trainers. Among them, pure crystals such as normal and fairy are relatively cheaper, mainly because these attribute Pokemon are milder, and the secret places they are in are less dangerous. The fire type, fighting type, evil type, and dragon type are more expensive. These Pokemon are relatively more aggressive, especially the dragon type. There are too many vicious dragons. Luo Weijin explained why dragon type pure crystals are more expensive, because they are dangerous and difficult to obtain. However, the classification of pure crystals is a problem in the world today. The instruments to identify the energy in pure crystals are too large, and it takes too long to identify them. In addition to the danger of the secret realm, it is impossible for ordinary people to go in and collect it, and I personally dare not bring too much to prevent it from affecting the body. Now there is no way to quickly identify the grade of pure crystals. What grade of pure crystals each person can get depends purely on luck. Luo Weijin finally complained. The technology is still not developed enough. When the trainer just needs to take a small instrument, it will be fine to distinguish the grade of pure crystal in a few seconds. The acquisition of high-quality pure crystals will become much easier, and the trainer will not be so resource-strapped. Luo Yuan lowered his head at this moment, his expression was delicate. Because his eyes can see the level of pure crystal. Doesn't this mean that others need to rely on luck to obtain high-quality pure crystals, but you can choose them yourself? Luo Yuan felt that he had discovered a real way to make money. A piece of grade 5 pure crystal can sell for several million, and if it is a rare pure crystal like the dragon type, it can even reach tens of millions. This made Luo Yuan feel that he could easily solve the resource problem that constrains others. He even couldn't wait to go into a certain secret realm to have a look and collect pure crystals to make money. After experiencing the congestion in the imperial capital, Luo Yuan and Luo Weijin parked their car in the underground garage of the community. After getting off the car, Luo Weijin couldn't help asking, Little brother, are you interested in going to the gym? Play gym, Luo Yuan, who was about to go home, stopped and looked at her sister suspiciously. Luo Yuan knows that in reality, similar to games and animations, there are gymnasiums in every country, just like his father is the master of gymnasiums in the imperial capital. And there are 36 gymnasiums in Xiaoguo, and there are two gymnasiums for each attribute, with branches in provincial capitals, municipalities directly under the central government, and large cities. Other countries are almost similar, that is, the total number of gymnasiums in some small countries is not so many. Well, it's gymnasium. According to the Alliance's regulations, as long as you get eight gymnasium badges and you are under 30 years old, you can participate in the National Alliance competition. And the top four in the National Alliance competition are eligible to challenge the Elite Four. Luo Weijin knew that her younger brother seemed to lack common sense, so she explained it to him in detail. Hearing her sister's words, Luo Yuan was really moved a little bit. After all, when I came to the world of Pokemon, I always felt that something was missing if I didn't play games or gyms. Just thinking of the rules that trainer needs to play with Pokemon, Luo Yuan shivered. You'd better invite another wise man. However, Luo Weijin still saw Luo Yuan's heartbeat at that moment, and she continued to insist. So, don't you want to open a high-end restaurant and become a chef yourself, or become a breeder? If you win the gym, how about I give you a shop? Just north of your university, I have a shop that has not been rented out. I can open a high-end restaurant with strong privacy by pretending to be Joshua. And there is an open space behind that, you can use it as a breeding house for a little money. It's not so easy to open a breeding house. I happen to have a relationship that can help you. Luo Weijin followed her carefully. She felt that with Luo Yuan's talent, if she didn't become a trainer, it would be a loss for Sha Guo. All of a sudden, Luo Yuan was completely moved. Although he now has a way to make money, which is to collect and sell pure crystals, but this matter has not yet been written off, and he still can't guarantee that he will be successful. But now Luo Weijin directly gave him enough resources, which could save a lot of money. Especially as her elder sister Elite Four, she has many relationships and can help her solve many troublesome things. 
The most important reason is that there is a trainer qualification limit for going to the secret realm to collect pure crystals. A novice trainer like him may only be able to go to some safe low-level secret realms. If he wants to make more money, he has to upgrade his trainer level. Due to various reasons, Luo Yuan's heart swayed, and he nodded. Okay, this is what you promised, sister. In the worst case, I will risk my life, just go to the gymnasium. Seeing that Luo Yuan agreed, Luo Weijin smiled. Don't worry, I won't lie to you about what I promised you. However, one thing in advance, you can't use Latias when you go to the gym, you have to use other Pokemon of your own breeder. Luo Yuan actually had such an idea a long time ago. It would be too boring to use Latias to play gyms. In the previous sparring with Luo Weijin, he knew that his cooperation with Latias was absolutely powerful. Besides, Luo Yuan also wants to feel the joy of breeder Pokemon. No problem, just let you see how I make breeder Riolu, and then take it to the gym. Luo Yuan waved his hand, indicating that he would not use Latias to play gyms. Seeing this, Luo Weijin finally smiled in relief. Very good, I believe that with his love for Pokemon, he will soon indulge in the joy of fighting, and then go all the way to the dark, never turning back. Dot dot dot. Lapras, Lapras what's wrong with you, Lapras? When Luo Yuan and her sister Luo Weijin arrived home, they heard their father panicking. At this time, my father's Lapras was lying on the ground in a sluggish state, his eyes were slack, his body was weak, and he let out a weak growl of, Lapu. Luo's father was pacing anxiously at the side, scratching his hair at a loss. What's the matter, father? After returning home, Luo Weijin took off her high heels, her beautiful feet in flesh-colored stockings stepped on slippers, her slender legs in jeans stepped forward, and came to her father's side. She looked at the Lapras with a frown, and her expression was equally tense. Is Lapras sick? Have you brought it to the Pokemon Center? Father Luo said with an ugly expression. I took it there. After arriving at the gymnasium today, I found that Lapras's condition was not right, and he didn't eat. I took a leave of absence in the afternoon and went to the Pokemon Center, but the doctor at the Pokemon Center said it was fine and couldn't find any symptoms. I went to other Pokemon Centers to check, but it was all fine. Having said that, Luo's father's tone became irritable again, which also shows his love for Pokemon and his love for his Lapras. Hearing his father say that he went to two Pokemon centers but couldn't find the problem, Luo Weijin didn't know what to do for a while. She was just thinking about the people she knew, to see if there were any experts who could solve the problem. Lapu. At this moment, after seeing Luo Yuan, Lapras, who was slumping on the ground, suddenly cheered up and raised his head from the ground. The 2.5 meter high body came to Luo Yuan with a sliding shovel, shouted excitedly, and rubbed his head against Luo Yuan's face, making people wonder whose Pokémon it was. Seeing that Lapras suddenly regained his energy, Father Luo and Luo Weijin looked at each other in a daze. Only Luo Yuan seemed to have guessed something, he looked at the radiant Lapras, and tentatively asked, Dot you want to eat my cooking? Lapu. Lapras nodded vigorously and thrust his head into Luo Yuan's arms. Lapras' body is cold and comfortable to the touch, like a piece of cold ice, which makes Luo Yuan feel that there is no need to turn on the air conditioner in this summer, just holding Lapras is enough. No wonder dad always likes to hold it. Okay, then let me show my skills today. Luo Yuan tugged at his sleeves at this time, and said proudly. Today, I will let you experience the charm of Sichuan cuisine. The legendary chef is coming. As soon as he finished speaking, Latias got out of the Pokeball by himself. Laddie. Latias happily raised his wings and made a happy growl. Lapras also raised his two front feet, his eyes became crescent moons. Two Pokemon, one on the left and one on the right, arched Luo Yuan towards the kitchen. Luo's father watched all this dumbfounded. Although Lapras suddenly regained his spirit and made him feel relieved, Lapras' behavior still made the corners of his mouth twitch. Whose Pokemon is this Lapras? Father Luo looked at his daughter and asked. Luo Weijin spread her hands, expressing that she didn't know either. For some reason, Luo's father had a wonderful feeling that he was given NTR by his son. By the way, Riolu, come out too and meet my family. Luo Yuan who walked to the kitchen door opened the Pokeball and released Riolu. Liu, Riolu, 
who came out of the pokey ball, didn't admit to being a stranger. As a polite puppy, he barked softly at Father Luo. As the owner of the gymnasium, Luo's father could tell what was wrong with this Riolu at a glance. He gestured to his daughter with his eyes, and Luo Weijin also roughly explained what happened in the breeding center before. Of course, she didn't say that she was beaten by Luo Yuan, this can't be said, Yiji Elite almost lost to rookie trainer, it's too embarrassing. Father Luo felt relieved when he heard that Luo Yuan knew that Riolu was not congenitally deficient, but still chose it. He deserved to be his son. Only with such a sincere and persistent heart towards Pokemon, can trainer truly reach the peak. Lapras, come to me and cool me down, I'm so hot, please help me to freeze this drink. Don't want that weird muck-flavored drink, just give me fat house happy water. Latius, use your psychic to control the kitchen knife, cut meat and vegetables for me, it's like practicing your use of psychic. Riolu, you go clean the pot for me. Altaria, come here and do me a favor. Use your flying skills to blow away the smoke. This range hood is not powerful. Can you change it to a higher power one? Quote dot 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 quote. The kitchen was full of heat. Luo Yuan rolled up his sleeves, wore a hat on his head, and an apron around his waist, showing off his chef skills. I saw him holding an iron pan and stir-frying all kinds of things, his wrists were strong and powerful, and Riolu was envious for a while. As a fighting-type Pokemon, such power is its pursuit. In the kitchen, it was like a fire, and the fire on the stove ignited, stirring up anger. And under that temperature, Luo Yuan also felt hot and stuffy, and the power of the air conditioner was not enough. Lapras stood not far from Luo Yuan, blowing the wind gently towards him. It is worthy of being the Pokemon of his father, the owner of the Dragon Gym. He has extremely good control over his power. The icy wind blowing on his body only makes people feel cold, but there is no chill. It's just so comfortable in this hot summer. Lapras looked serious, as if he was going through the most difficult life and death struggle in his life. He was afraid that if he didn't take good care of Luo Yuan, Luo Yuan wouldn't feed him, and that would be crying. Latias looked excited. She controlled Psychic, and saw vegetables and meat flying back and forth in the air, and a kitchen knife chopped vegetables and meat as if entering no one's land, which looked very strange. Because it is an open kitchen, like what Luo Yuan does, the range hood in the kitchen is always not powerful enough. But there is a champion level Altaria blowing the wind, which controls the air duct, and perfectly manipulates the large amount of smoke that drifts out into the range hood, greatly improving the performance of the range hood. As for Riolu, due to his weak strength and lack of proficiency in controlling his own power, all he can do is to wash the dishes. But looking at Riolu's earnest attitude of brushing every plate and bowl thoroughly, it seems that it regards washing dishes as the trainer's experience for it. Luo Yuan believes that this is the correct way to use Pokemon, and it is a good way to integrate Pokemon into daily life and into thousands of households. When Luo Mu came back from get off work, what she saw was the scene of the kitchen in full swing. It is Luo Mu's job to cook every day, but today she was robbed by Luo Yuan, which made her a little uncomfortable. What's going on with Xiao Yuan? How did he cook? Luo Mu, who had changed into home clothes, saw her husband sitting on the sofa watching TV, and her daughter sitting beside her playing with her mobile phone. She glanced at Luo Yuan who was cooking and asked, It's not my Lapras yet, I don't know why I have to eat the food made by Xiao Yuan. Forget it, it just so happens that Xiao Yuan has been practicing cooking for so long, but he hasn't cooked it for his family. In the past, Latias ate his cooking, so let him do it. Wife, you can also take a rest today. It's strange, Pokemon shouldn't like to eat our human food. Why do Latias and Lapras like it so much? Father Luo's expression was puzzled. By the way, speaking of Lapras, you called me at noon and said he was sick, how is it? Luo Mu asked with concern. There was still something going on before, but Xiao Yuan will be fine as soon as he comes back. I suspect it's just pretending to be greedy. Speaking of this, Luo's father was depressed again, watching his Lapras become Luo Yuan's exclusive air conditioner, blowing cold wind there to cool down. At this moment, Luo Mu looked at Riolu who was washing dishes by the sink, that's the Earl Dervish Pokemon chosen by Xiao Yuan. Riolu, it's a good Pokemon. It just looks a little thin and weak. Is there any disease? As an expert on Pokemon, although not a doctor, Luo's mother, 
like Luo's father, who is the owner of the gymnasium, saw something wrong with Riolu. Father Luo explained to his wife what his daughter had told him before. Luo's mother didn't show any dislike for Riolu when she heard the words, but said with emotion, This child is really pitiful, I hope Xiaoyuan can take good care of it. Don't worry, Xiaoyuan will take good care of Riolu, you know he is my son. Father Luo said proudly, That's my son too. Luo Mu glared at him. As Luo Yuan's dishes were stir fried, an indescribable aroma gradually wafted away, which was noticed by the nearest Riolu and Altaria. The two Pokemon sniffed their noses, drooling with no image at all, and swallowed subconsciously. Luo Yuan noticed that the speed of the blowing had slowed down, and he glared at Altaria and Riolu. Hurry up and work, or there will be no food for a while. She, Altaria became completely serious, its eyes were sharp, and it showed the strength of its own champion Pokemon, blowing the wind vigorously. Riolu's hands and feet became more and more diligent, and he almost polished the washed dishes. Since this is for four Pokemon and four people in the family, this time Luo Yuan cooks a big pot meal. After the basic dishes are prepared, he divides the dishes, some people eat, and some Pokemon eat. He looked at the dishes on the special plate for Pokemon, and asked Riolu, Lapras, and Altaria. What kind of berries do you like? At the foot of Luo Yuan, there are berries of Figgy Berry, Wiki Berry, Mago Berry and other flavors. Instead of choosing it yourself, it is better to leave it to the diners to choose their own taste. As for Latius Luo Yuan, there is no need to ask, she likes the sour fruit like raspberry, Luo Yuan already knew it. Um, it is said that pregnant women like to eat sour food. Latius should not be pregnant. The three Pokemon each picked their favorite berries, and Luo Yuan powdered the berries and sprinkled them on the food. This made him think whether he should learn how to make energy cubes, maybe the energy cubes made by himself, Pokemon would love to eat more. After cooking, Luo Yuan asked Latias to use psychic control to bring the dishes to the table. Boiled fish, mapo tofu, kung pao chicken, etc. are simple but most typical Sichuan dishes. Luo's father, Luo's mother and Luo Weijin were sitting at the table. They held their chopsticks and stared at the food on the table that seemed to be burning with flames. Why, why is this dish still light, is this a rare flash meal? And this rice, everyone steams it with a rice cooker, why does the rice cooked by Luo Yuan look like crystals, and the rice I cook is plain white? What technology is added here, what technology and hard work are used? Could this be the legendary steamed rice fairy? An indescribable aroma hit the face, and before I even finished my mouth, I felt the spicy taste stimulating the nasal cavity. But the spicy taste does not make people uncomfortable, but it makes people move their index fingers. The stomach and taste buds sent out crazy signals, telling my body, this is it, I must eat this, if I don't eat this, my stomach will go on strike today. Father Luo picked up the spoon tremblingly, and took out a spoonful of mapo tofu. Seeing the red juice flowing like magma, his throat moved, and he opened his mouth to eat it. A fiery flame flows down the esophagus into the stomach, but there is no spicy tingling sensation, only fresh and mellow, spicy and spicy, which can be said to be a dish with a style, a hundred dishes with a hundred flavors. Swallowing such a mouthful of mapo tofu, I only felt my body was on fire, and the pores all over my body were opened. A kind of comfort in the world that I had never felt before, made Luo father spit out a mouthful of heat. This feeling, dopamine is being secreted crazily, the so-called gourmet food is nothing more than that. I felt that my whole body was soaked in sweat, but there was no discomfort, but it was endless aftertaste. Luo's father couldn't help but took off his coat, and was shirtless, letting himself sweat profusely. Only then did Luo Yuan realize that his father was in good shape, comparable to himself, with no belly fat at all, and he was worthy of being the owner of the gym. With all the children at home, can't you pay attention to your image? Luo Mu glared at him, but her mouth kept moving, wheezing and eating all kinds of spicy and delicious delicacies. Even the rice tastes soft and glutinous, like a delicacy in the world. Seeing his wife eating there, Luo's father stopped talking, and quickly lowered his head and stuffed food into his mouth frantically. Usually the whole family would chat during meals, but today it was rare to eat without talking. Luo Weijin is really envious of her father, a man can go shirtless, but she, a Stephanie, can't do it. 
Feeling the delicious pleasure of being burned by the flames, she subconsciously undid a button of her neckline with one hand, and pulled the neckline to the side to dissipate heat. This made Luo Yuan, who was sitting next to Luo Weijin, inadvertently catch a glimpse of a bra under her fair collarbone. Ha, huh, it turned out to be black. I didn't expect the old lady to wear such a dress, and I didn't notice it before. Old lady, you have developed so spectacularly. Lapras, can I get some cool air? Father Luo, who was sweating profusely but eating too much, looked at Lapras. But Lapras didn't pay attention to him at all at this time, he had already stuffed his head into the basin, and let out a happy growl from time to time. Luo Weijin's Altaria also seemed to have taken medicine at this time, her golden body was flushed all over, showing an expression of being intoxicated and about to faint. Riolu felt the raging flames burning in his body, as if he was healing the root cause of his weakness from childhood, and adding the indescribable deliciousness made him almost cry. Waish. I, I want to redouble my training, I have to redouble my efforts, and I must repay the master for his kindness. If Luo Yuan knew what it was thinking, he would definitely say, no, I really didn't take the drug, don't slander me. Only Ladius has rich experience. She just squinted her big eyes, didn't even make a sound, and tried to eat as much as possible within the limited time. This has added the flavor of tree fruit, which is already so delicious that it will break through the sky. Seeing his parents and elder sister fighting hard, watching the Pokemon licking their pots, only Luo Yuan felt depressed. Although the food I cook seems to have special effects inexplicably. But why does the taste not change when I eat it? It can't be said that it is unpalatable, Luo Yuan is still very confident in his cooking skills, and he is definitely at the level of a chef. But whether it is the performance of my parents, sister or Pokemon, it is too exaggerated. In other words, only I can taste that special taste. That's really only my hurting world has reached. Luo Yuan ate rice and vegetables calmly, his appetite was only his normal amount, completely different from his parents and sister who were almost desperate. Luo Yuan cooked enough food, but it didn't take long for the food to be wiped out. Luo's father breathed a sigh of relief, and picked up a tissue beside him to wipe off the sweat that was crazily remaining on his forehead. Luo Mu and Luo Weijin did the same. They never thought that rice alone could be so delicious, let alone eaten with vegetables. Father Luo looked at Lapras who had been paralyzed on the ground as if he had ascended to heaven. He finally understood why Lapras was so depressed. If he thinks that he will never be able to eat such a meal again, he will also be depressed. Ahem, Luo's father coughed, and pretended to be calm, and said. Xiao Yuan, your father and I have a competition in the gymnasium tomorrow, and we may be too busy at noon to go to the cafeteria for dinner. You are a little busy tonight, prepare a lunchbox for me. Luo Mu also said calmly. Mom's research has reached a critical moment, and I didn't have time to go to the cafeteria to eat when I was in the laboratory. By the way, let's help mom make a lunch. Seeing her parents being so shameless, Luo Weijin was also shameless. Little brother, sister, I treat you well, right? Tomorrow I have to go to work, and I guess I will have to eat and sleep outside again. I don't even have time to eat, so. She was still a little reserved. She didn't directly say that you cook for me, and I'll take it to work tomorrow. At this time, Luo Weijin suddenly felt a little moved. At that time, Luo Yuan said that she wanted to be a chef, but she still didn't think so. Now Luo Weijin thinks that Luo Yuan should hurry up and open a shop as a chef. In this way, as an older sister, I can go to his place every day for a meal. Luo Yuan only felt that he was in a cocoon, and he said helplessly. Okay. Let me spend some time in the evening and prepare tomorrow's lunch for you. By the way, what about washing the dishes? As soon as he finished speaking, the three of them hurriedly said. I, I, I will wash the dishes. Even those Pokemon raised their hands to show that they can wash dishes. At this time, Father Luo and Luo Weijin both touched the Poke Ball on their waists. Such a delicious meal, if my other Pokemon can't eat it, I feel so sorry for them. Seeing this, Luo Yuan's expression changed, and he quickly said. I'm currently researching energy cubes. When I find out, I'll let my father and sister taste your Pokemon and tell me what's lacking. Human food is too nutrient poor for Pokemon, and they need to eat a lot to meet their needs. Just the four Pokemon now are exhausting enough to eat. 
if there are a few more Pokemon with big appetites, he won't be able to handle it. It seems that it is imminent to study the energy cube by myself. Only energy cubes can meet the dietary needs of Pokemon in small quantities. Luo's father and Luo Weijin were right when they thought about it. After all, this was their son, brother. It would be really embarrassing for him to cook so much by himself. The two can only regretfully express that they hope that Luo Yuan will quickly research the method of special energy cubes, and they will definitely let their own Pokemon to taste. At night, Luo Yuan sat in front of the computer in his bedroom, typing away, searching the internet for the information he needed. Beside Luo Yuan, Latias floated in midair, curled up his body, with a pair of smart and beautiful big eyes looking at the screen for a while, and then at Luo Yuan for a while. Then Latias didn't know what to think of, let out a melodious growl, covered his mouth and smiled cheerfully. Not far away, Riolu is doing push-ups, exercising himself hard. After eating Luo Yuan's medicine, Riolu only felt a huge and scorching energy roaring in his body, which made him want to exercise quickly and turn that energy into his own strength. It's just that it's nighttime, and you can't go out to exercise. Running at home will easily offend the neighbors downstairs, so it can only do some non-running and jumping exercises to exercise its performance. Luo Yuan accidentally skimmed over to Riolu, and found that the level on its head had changed from LV.5 to LV.6. This result proves one point, that is, the food cooked by oneself really has the effect of upgrading, and Latias eats it into a champion level. Before Latias was completely passive eating, this time I tried to be more active and see if I could speed it up. Single quote. In addition, Riolu likes to digest food after meals, maybe he can eat better, and with exercise, the improvement speed may be faster. Single quote. Luo Yuan was thinking like this. Luo Yuan didn't know what Latias' initial level was, but it took 10 years for Latias to become a champion. 10 years to train a champion Pokemon is still too slow in Luo Yuan's opinion. Even if he exercises like this, he doesn't need to do anything, just lie down, but it's still too slow. You must know that a genius trainer like Luo Weijin started training Earl Dervish Pokemon at the age of 18, and now at the age of 24, it took only 6 years to train two champion Pokemon. Although Luo Yuan uses diet therapy from now on, he may have 6 or even 12 champion level Pokemon in 10 years. But at that time, Luo Yuan was also 31 years old, and had already passed the qualifications to participate in the Domestic Alliance and the World Alliance Conference. At that time, the only thing Luo Yuan could participate in was the real world's highest level, 8 Masters event. If you don't make a sound, it's enough, a blockbuster. Luo Yuan thought about it and found it unreliable. Because of exercising at such a speed, Luo Yuan 10 years later may go further than Latias, and the other Pokemon are estimated to be only champions. But the Eight Masters Tournament is the real eight who decide the world's mightiest. According to my sister, the first few of the Eight Masters are the real master level trainers. Master, that is the highest honor and title of all trainers, and it is a symbol of strength and power. In the whole world, there are only a few master level trainers. The masterminds barely make an appearance outside of the Masters 8, and their main job is to deal with possible legendary Pokemon disasters. Only the disasters brought about by legendary Pokemon will receive their attention and vigilance. Latias, do you feel that you are growing faster than in the past after eating the food with the berries? Luo Yuan thought it would be better to ask Latias instead of thinking about it himself. Although he can also feel Riolu's emotions inexplicably, compared to Riolu, he and Latias are more connected and have a tacit understanding. Of course it's also because Riolu can't speak, and Latias can communicate with Psychic. Laddie, hum, after eating the food with tree fruit, the growth rate is much faster than before. Latias said happily, thinking of the food, she stuck out her tongue and licked her mouth again. Seeing this, Luo Yuan handed over the freshly squeezed juice he had just made, and Latias cheered, licking the juice in Luo Yuan's glass like a cat. It seems that as long as the food is made by oneself, it will have an effect on Pokemon, even if it is juice. No wonder Latias didn't like to drink before, and had to drink the juice he made himself. Riolu watched enviously as Latias was able to drink the juice his master squeezed. Still, it rejected Captivate with a strong heart.
Sister Latias is powerful and a champion Pokemon, so she is entitled to preferential treatment from her master. I have to work harder, and when one day I become as strong as Latias' sister, the master will reward me. Thinking of this, Riolu started exercising even harder. Then Latias, how fast is the growth rate of his ability compared to the past? You'd better use a more accurate value to say it. After thinking for a while, Luo Yuan asked Latias again. Although it is a good thing to know that the ability to grow faster than in the past, that is to say, it may not take 10 years to cultivate a champion-level Pokémon. But Luo Yuan still hopes to get a more accurate value, so that he can make the next plan. Latias is a little distressed. Although she can speak human language and understand human feelings, she is obviously not proficient in things like numbers. After thinking for a while, she said hesitantly, Laddie, like, five times or more. Well, I can't tell either. Latias shook her head, her answer was a bit ambiguous, but Luo Yuan was also very satisfied with this data. If it is five times faster, then it is likely that he only needs two years to breed a champion-level Pokemon. Maybe it could be faster. At this moment, Luo Yuan looked at Riolu who was exercising himself, and he said to Riolu. Riolu. Liu. Riolu responded to Luo Yuan and temporarily stopped his training. Luo Yuan took out the soothe bell given by Professor Li today and waved to Riolu. After Riolu came bouncing, Luo Yuan hung soothe bell around Riolu's neck. Patting Riolu's cute puppy on the head, Luo Yuan encouraged it. Come on and train, I believe I will be fine. It doesn't matter if you are born weak, I will use diet therapy to make you recover, and as long as you stand on the same starting line as other Pokemon, whoever works harder will become stronger. Luo Yuan encouraged Riolu, before Luo Yuan asked Latias to communicate with Riolu. After being translated by Latias, Luo Yuan knew that the food he made was also effective for Riolu's natural frailty. After all, according to Luo Yuan's understanding, in the past world, many people also relied on traditional Chinese medicine and diet therapy to regulate their bodies, so this is very scientific. Ladi, come on Riolu. Latias raised his wings to encourage the little sister to work hard. Encouraged by trainer and Latias, Riolu's heart was agitated. It nodded vigorously and patted its chest, expressing that it would definitely work hard. Immediately, Riolu danced to Luo Yuan again, shouting, Liu, Liu, as if he wanted to express something. Luo Yuan could sense that Riolu wanted to speak freely, but he really couldn't understand Pokemon language, so he could only look at Latias. Latias acted as an interpreter and said happily. Riolu said that Master, you have a power similar to it. So when it was in the breeding center, it recognized you at a glance. Similar powers to Riolu. Similar powers to Riolu. Luo Yuan pondered. Being a human being, what powers do you have similar to Riolu? Could it be that I'm actually a Pokemon, the kind that can go up and fight people? No, the evolution of Riolu is Lucario, and in the animation, there is indeed a power that both humans and Lucario can have. You mean the power of Waveguide? Luo Yuan asked tentatively. Liu, Riolu nodded quickly. Latias translated again. Riolu said, Master, your waveguide is very powerful, and you can use it with ease, even more powerful than it, and it can be used to detect the outside world. I have the power of waveguide. And it's handy. Can it even detect the outside world? Why didn't I know I still had such abilities? Luo Yuan froze for a moment, then his eyes widened suddenly. Wait. I see, the power of the waveguide that Riolu said, could it be my ability to see the Pokemon level or the pure crystal level? Luo Yuan suddenly realized that he once again stared at Riolu intently, looking at the grade mark on its head. And Riolu also nodded excitedly, saying that it is this power. With Riolu's affirmation, Luo Yuan understood that the ability to see the level of Pokemon and the level of pure crystal is the power of waveguide. At first, Luo Yuan thought this was his cheating finger, but now it seems that his real cheating finger is actually the ability of the legendary chef. And the ability to see the level of Pokemon is the power of waveguide in the animation. According to the animation, everything has a waveguide, and the waveguide can be understood as a kind of wave. And Lucario can spread out its own waveguide to search and find enemies like a radar. The more powerful the Lucario, the greater the spread of its waveguide. 
Then I can use the waveguide to see the Pokemon and the item level, which has an explanation. I use the method of detecting the opponent's waveguide to know the opponent's energy level. Luo Yuan immediately became playful, and he did a Kamehameha Qigong opening gesture, shouting, Hamahameha. Under the inexplicable expressions of Latius and Riolu, Luo Yuan took back the two outstretched hands in embarrassment. Unfortunately, I don't know how to use Aura Sphere. Luo Yuan pretended to cough twice, and said to Riolu, Riolu, tomorrow I will take you to find a fighting practice field and start our training. When your strength is enough, I will take you to the gymnasium. I've already decided on the first gym we're going to fight. Let's go to Jingong. The owner of the gym there is from the steel department. It's very suitable for you to fight rival as the first gym. This is Luo Yuan's next plan. Now that she promised her sister to go to the gym, Luo Yuan will not break her promise. After some research, Luo Yuan determined the first target to be the steel gymnasium in Jingong. One reason is that Jingong is close to the imperial capital, and it takes half an hour to get there by train. The other is the fighting type restraint steel type, which is very suitable for novice Pokemon like Riolu. There are 36 gymnasiums in Sha Kingdom, and 8 gymnasium badges are required to participate in the National Alliance Conference. Because there are many gyms, each department has two gyms, so for a trainer, the easiest way to play gyms is to use the attribute of self-restraint in the first gym and the last gym. The first gymnasium chooses restraint attribute, in order to accumulate experience. The first gymnasts were all rookie trainers, and they only had one or two Pokemon in their hands. If they went to fight against themselves instead, they would be courting death. The last gym is because it is the most difficult to fight, and the success rate of choosing the attribute that you can restrain is higher. Luo Yuan didn't want to play anything fancy, so he did it in the way most trainers like to play gyms. It's also his first time playing a gym, and it's also his first time for Riolu, so it's good to find a simpler learning experience. In fact, the strength of the gymnasium masters is very strong. Under normal circumstances, there are very few young people as gymnasium masters. All gym owners are aunts and uncles over the age of 30. These people are over 30 years old and can no longer compete in the National Alliance competition. But when these gym owners were young, most likely they were elite players in the National Alliance competition. It's just that they couldn't win the seats of Elite Four in the end, and finally became the masters of the gymnasium. Anyone before the age of 30 can become an Elite Four and a champion, but there are only five positions. Among so many geniuses, only five can stand in that position. It can be seen that both the Elite Four and the champion are strong men who overwhelm an era. And those trainers who are over 30 years old are still fighting at the forefront, solving various secret problems, continuing to temper themselves, and trying to challenge the eight masters. Maybe you are the kind of late bloomer. People always have dreams. There are also some who have become gym owners and exercise rookie trainer. The last part may be that I feel that my talent is just like this. I am no longer a trainer, but relying on my identity as a trainer, I have also integrated into various walks of life. After all, all industries have preferential treatment for trainers. After the normal trainer reaches the age of 50, his physical function declines, and he no longer fights on the front line. After all, the secret realm is too dangerous, and the decline in physical function will increase the death rate. Trainer has to be responsible for himself, his family and Pokemon, and he must retire when it is time to retire. As long as a very small number of them are in particularly good health, they may continue to fight. The real main lineup of gym owners is likely to be at the elite level. What's more, some gym owners may have one or two champion level Pokemon in their hands after years of training. However, the main force of the gymnasium owner is hardly used in the gymnasium competition. They will adjust their Pokemon according to the number of badges obtained by the challenger. Therefore, in addition to the main force, the gym owners actually cultivated a lot of Pokemon, with various strengths. When a trainer challenges to the 8th badge, the gym master will take out the Pokemon that is only one step away from reaching the elite level to compete. This level of Pokemon is also called gym level, which is the origin of gym level. According to the specific data that Luo Yuan learned from his father, that is, Pokemon at level 50 to 60 is gym level, 
level 60 to 70 is elite level, and Pokemon above 70 is champion level. As for the master level, Luo Yuan has never seen the Pokemon of the master, so he can't judge, and he doesn't know whether it starts from level 80 or level 90. In addition to these trainer levels, there is also a category of legendary Pokemon. According to the research of this world, legendary Pokemon all have holy titles, and they probably cannot be forcibly classified by level. While Luo Yuan was thinking about his deeper understanding of the world, Riolu had already gone to exercise again. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.